Eminem pieces of advice for the kids, number 10. Money doesn't buy happiness, it buys crazy ass happiness. I don't believe in talent. Well, some people, they have talent. That's, it's good, it helps when you have talent. As long as you have a lot of determination and willpower, that's all you need, and you, you have to have the will to win. You can't keep doing this. You can't keep doing shitty things and then feel bad about yourself. Like, that makes it okay. You need to be better. On your path to greatness, there are going to be long periods of time where you hate what you are doing, where you are dissatisfied with the actions you must undertake, where you are tired, where you are stressed. That is why it is difficult. It's supposed to be hard. Life is supposed to be hard. You're supposed to think this is terrible. You're supposed to suffer and smile through the pain regardless. So when men say, oh, but I don't, I feel sad, who cares? The world doesn't care. All the men who are out here to destroy you and take your girl don't care. So why are you, why do you care? Like the only, the person who should care least is you. You're the only person who wakes up every day who should have a genuine vested interest in improving your life. Nobody else wakes up and wants to improve your life, only you. So if nobody else cares about how you feel, why do you care? Losing hope is fatal. My whole life was built on hope. You don't become a four-time world champion without it. People say to me all the time, Andrew, what if I don't make the cup? How are you going to talk about failure? You haven't even fucking tried. That's why you're going to lose. Fight or be forgotten. Just a few will understand this quote, and it says, You can't change the people around you, but you can change the people around you. And I'm telling you from the bottom of my soul, it is so easy to beat people today. They are so soft. They have no work ethic. No one can stick with anything. Everyone's distracted. They're on social media. They're counting their fucking notifications because they can't stick with shit. They can't say no. Do you actually want to do this or not? Do you actually want to do this or not? Because if you actually want to do it, what's going to stop you? Nothing. And if you don't really want to do it, what's going to stop you? Just about anything that comes up. Just about any obstacle that gets in your way becomes an excuse. It becomes a reason. It becomes a rationale for not proceeding down that path. You just got to grind. Yeah. I, f I feel like this, this next generation is coming up, and I don't, I don't mean to smash all of them, but they seem like a bunch of pussies to me, you know? So because of that... There's never been more opportunity than there is right now. If you're a fucking savage and you get out there and you grind hard and you want it bad enough, you can run all these guys over, man. Sit on your bed one day and ask yourself, what remarkably stupid things am I doing on a regular basis to absolutely screw up my life? And if you actually ask that question, but you have to want to know the answer, right? Because that's actually what asking the question means. It doesn't mean just mouthing the words. It means you have to decide that you want to know You'll figure that's out so fast it'll make your hair curl. Imagine when you're older and your grandkids say to you, Granddad, tell me about what it was like when you were young. And you say, I didn't really do much, to be honest, because I was worried about what other people would think of me. I never took my shirt off because I hated the way I looked. I didn't start that business because I was scared it might fail. Just think about how silly that would sound. You only get one go around at this thing. Blink and you'll miss it. Crack of the whip and then you're gone. So make it worth it.
stop thinking like the 99%, stop doing what the 99% do, stop reading what they read, stop watching what they watch, stop listening to what they listen to, stop eating what they eat, stop drinking what they drink, change. Change will not just happen to you. Luck does not exist. Luck is merely the culmination of probabilities put together and stacking it to your odds. And I understand life gets hard and I understand some of you guys have fucked up past. I get it, dude. I get it. But why are you going to let that define your future? Why don't you just flip the game and decide to win? Push. Push. One more. One more. That's the mentality you got to have. One more in everything you do. One more rep. One more set. One more left. One more minute. I swear to you, gentlemen, if you make sure that your actions, your intention, your will, and your thoughts is true, the world is absolutely and utterly open for your complete conquest. Nobody's going to mess with you. You're going to become ultimately powerful. The best thing you can do as a man is look and go, okay, this is hard, this is hard, this is hard, this is hard. I feel negative because these are all so difficult. I'm struggling with X, Y, Z. Let me internalize all of that and turn it into a superpower. Let me become genuinely uncomfortable with my situation in life and go and fix things because the universe is absolutely and utterly very giving. And if you truly hated being in the position you were in, you wouldn't be there very long. My kickboxing coach used to say to me, I'd say, what do you hate the most? And I say, I hate running. I'd say, okay, you're going to run. He'd say, why? He goes, because whatever you hate is what you need. Whatever you hate is what you need. I want to spar, bad work, pads, no problem. Running, I didn't want to run, but that's what you need. And that's what life's about. You're not going to be able to go through life avoiding pain and also becoming a man of quality. You're going to have to be that guy who's been through so much shit. There's pain to become important and there's pain in not being important. So you have to make a choice. Eat, sleep, work, train, repeat. Eat, sleep, work, train, repeat. This fact has the potential to change your whole life. The moment you really try to start improving yourself is the moment when you are bound to experience hardships and failures. The key is to see this as the good part of your struggle because it's your response to the situation that holds the capability to unlock your success. Prove them all fucking wrong. Every one of them, whatever they said about you, use it as fucking fuel. Ignite that motherfucker inside you. Show them who you are. Remember, your mindset is your greatest weapon. Believe in yourself and nothing can hold you back. Consistency doesn't guarantee that you'll be successful, but not being consistent will guarantee that you won't reach success. An easy productivity hack, instead of spending time getting in the mood to work, just start working, confront the work. People think they need perfect conditions to start, when in reality, starting is the perfect condition. What's your biggest fear? Biggest fear? Look at that! Well, how much money you make? I don't know. 70,000 last month. <laughs> the fuck? The fuck, fuck out of here. Seriously, how much money you make? Um, I told you. 70,000. $22 billion in three fucking hours! What is this? It's your wedding present. What? It's your wedding present, sweetheart. Are you serious? A fucking yacht? Good! Pick up the phone and start dialing! 
I want you to deal with your problems by becoming rich. God is not punishing you. He is preparing you. Trust his plan, not your pain. If you were a girl with all the choices she has, would you choose you? Think about it. You will die, Kratos of Sparta. Death can have me when it earns me. I don't